bow spinning isn't working correctly. Normally he does the weird spin attack, but now he's not? He's supposed to do it. What happens if I use up all my stamina? He just stops. That's a new bug. I guess maybe because the game is fresh, it's not loading every animation. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Do you remember when Hastu, last episode, said that all the Koroks have returned to him? Remember that? Remember when he said he needed all of the Korok seeds in the world? And do you see that we still have 459 in our inventory? It's clear that they did not expect you to get all of them. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, the only thing we had done last episode was collect every single Korok seed in the game. That's right, we now have 900. And this mask is now completely useless. It does effectively nothing other than give us one measly defense. This time, if you look at our, our quest log here, you'll see that we have 82 complete of 90. And I have a list right here next to me that shows every remaining quest, as well as some extras, which I'm not sure why it looks like we're missing... Here, let me count this. We're missing nine? And I'm not sure about that. Because we're missing nine. So, I guess we're going to be finding out why, plus, plus one more, uh, one more DLC quest, which would make it ten. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I do know it starts with talking to Coco in Kakariko Village. Kokoriko Village? Who has a quest for us related to this pot? Di today's dinner is veggie cream soup, which sounds disgusting, but my mom says it'll make me grow strong. It's super nourishing and fortifying. Well, that's what they say, anyhow. It must be true. All you gotta do is toss a swift carrot, rock salt, and fresh milk in a pot and stew it all up. Then voila! So yummy. Ugh. Oh, no! Coco is all out of swift carrots. I talk about myself in the third person because then it makes it sound like my problems are someone else's. But if... Coco managed to make Kotla, uh, make Kotla some hasty veggie cream soup. <laughs> You'll live. You would live. But if you had the soup, you would not. I'll bring you some anyway. Thank you so much. Okay, Coco just needs one swift carrot. G uh, just one and Coco can get cooking. Coco will be waiting for you here. Though once it gets dark out, Coco will have to head home. Yeah, there are no prerequisites for this. I just ignored Coco the entire adventure. Huh? Huh? Coco smells swift carrots. You are nuts, but this is for you. Is that a swift carrot? Will it make my sanity catch up with my brain? And finally, I can not obsess over swift carrots? Thank you so much, so very much. Now Coco can make dinner for Kotla. Yeah, time to get cooking. Ooh, it came out perfect! Here, please have some. Coco's treat! Hasty veggie cream soup. Yeah, this is a very beginner level quest, considering it's teaching us how to cook things. We haven't had that for... Actually, we haven't had that since... Tabantha Village, and also the warm du uh, doublet. Neat. Coco wants to try cooking different things so Coco can be a great chef, just like Mother. Coco's qui- Coco's Quichuen. Complete. 83 of 90. Do you have a new quest? What should Coco make now? Oh, hot buttered apple sounds good. Mother used to make it all the time. Kala loves it too. Let's see, the ingredients are some apples and goat butter? Oh no! Coco is out of goat butter. Coco is a bad daughter who can't do anything right. Coco will never be like Mother. Here. Take this butter, it's in my pocket. Is this goat butter? Are you sure about this, really? Thank you so much, Coco means it. Stay right there for a second. Hmm, what a yummy smell, and that hint of butter makes all the difference. Oh, oh, and the apples are superbly sweet, too. Here, take some. It's really something else. 
Hot buttered apple. Mmm. The apple sweetness has just been enhanced by smothering it with butter and baking it. I can dig that. I can dig that. Coco will work hard to get better and better at cooking. That's another one. 84. <laughs> I, I was a bit worried. Well, not worried, but I, I was figuring that we would... Yeah, that we would have to uh, split this, this side questing into two episodes. But if we continue to knock them out like this... Who knows, maybe we'll be able to beat all the bosses of this episode and actually 100% the game. The The title, regardless, will probably spoil it, considering if I do 100% the game, the title is going to be called 100%. Sorry. <laughs> what should Coco make now? Oh, Coco will make Father's favorite. Tough meat stuffed pumpkin. It's great for an energy boost. Let's see. The ingredients are fortified pumpkin and raw meat. Hmm? Raw meat. Oh, no! Coco doesn't have our raw meat on her pockets. Coco could use a different kind of meat, but without raw meat, Coco can't recreate Mother's recipe. Father used to go hunting to make sure we always had raw meat, but he's at work right now. Coco is a bad daughter who can't do anything right. Coco will never be li like Mother. Here, take this meat. Is this raw meat? Are you sure about this? Really? Thank you so much, Coco. Means it'd be right there for uh, stay right there for a second. Hmm. What? Or, hmm, sorry. <clears throat> Future pal, insert this. Mmm. <gasps> what a scrumptious smell. Oh, and that savory meat pairs so well with the sweetness of the pumpkin. Mmm. That's just how mother made it. Mmm. Here, have some. This is so good. Tough meat stuffed pumpkin. Grants a low-level defense boost. This hollow meat-filled pumpkin, uh, fortified pumpkin, is a lo local specialty at Cat Creek Village. It's like fried green com fried uh, tomatoes. Yeah. But with M&M's in inside of it? Just look at that picture. That's another one? Is that all of them? I think... No, it's probably not all of them. Oh, what should, should Coco make for dessert? Oh, we're doing the full four-course meal. Coco will cook a honeyed apple. Mother loves these. It melts in your mouth. It's so delicious. Let's see. The ingredients are an, an apple and coarser bee honey, which I don't have because I don't regularly... Dive into bees' nests. Bees attack you when you get too close to the hives. It's dangerous for Coco to get more. Coco wanted to make some for Mother and Heaven. Uh. Coco wanted to make some for Mother in Heaven, but Coco is a bad daughter who can't do anything right. I had a strange feeling that it was going to be like that. That they were going to play, oh, Mom's dead, but I'm trying to be good for her. But I was thinking, oh, they can't do that. They can't do that. No, that's too cliche. No, they did it. They did it. Wait, is this coarser B, honey, in lowercase, when I just said it in uppercase? Are you sure about this? Yes. <laughs> this, this is... Coco remembers. When Coco had a fever, Mother would always cook this just for Coco. When Mother made her special dessert, she always put some of this in it. Mother! Coco. Coco will do her best and try to be as good as you one day. Coco will get better and better. Coco promises. Coco is able to recreate Mother's dishes. Coco feels better now. It's all thanks to you. Please, take this. Energizing honeyed apple. A juicy, sweet, and sour dish combining ri newly ripened apples with honey. Coco's cuisine. Oh, it's you. Coco has made a decision. Coco will become a chef when Coco grows up. That way, Coco can make everyone happy with yummy food. This whole time, Coco has been relying on Mother's recipes. From, but from now on, Coco will come up with her own recipes, too. Be honest, coming up with recipes is hard. Neat. Man, we're knocking all of them out. My goodness. Well, if you want to learn about recipes, there's a woman... <laughs> Down here, or is it there? That's there. Right there. She knows all about cooking guardian parts, flint, monster parts. She she really knows her stuff. Oh, it's you, and same decision. Hi. Oh, it's Kotla. I didn't even know you existed. So hungry. Well, I hope you get food. Next quest is to find Kotla. But during the day, Kotla will be running around, running circuits around the town. And talking to Kotla, we'll start the quest. When's food? I'm bored. Wanna play? Yay, what'll be, what'll be, what'll be? A hide and seek. 
Yay! I'll go hide. But I've got to go home to uh, I've got to go home to sis when it's night dinner time. Okay. Playtime with Kotla has begun. Hide and seek. This is right down Wind Waker's alley. Right down it. We're finding Kotla. We don't have a scrying target. It's just good old-fashioned ingenuity. Just canvassing the village before 5 p.m. Where she will go to uh, her sister to eat. So let's canvass this village, I guess. Aha! Found ya! Dun 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 Oh, I was trying to blow you up. I found you. <laughs> so hungry. You know, I just... I, I found you. Right? I'm a hide. Boo, you found me. That was so fun, though. This is my secret treasure, but here. You can have it. Crunchy Crunchables. Crystal salt from the HC, commonly used to season meals, cannot be eaten in this form, but can be licked obsessively when you're hungry. Oh. Yay, a race! When's food on board? Ah. What'll it be? What'll it be? A tag. Oh. Yay, I'll start running. But I've got to be get home to sis before it's, uh, when it's di dinner time, okay? Where'd she go? There she is. Ah. Yay, a race! Oh. Boo, you caught me. That was so fun, though. This is my secret treasure, but here you can have it. Here, you can have the shiny thing. Amber. Can we just keep grinding for this? I think we can. Here, I'm going to try doing tag again. Maybe she'll give it, give us Amber. Maybe this is infinite Amber. That'd be kind of sweet. There she is again, running towards us. She does not understand how to play tag. But you caught me. That was so fun. Here, you can have it. She gives a random thing every time. Well, thank you, Kotla. Thank you, Kotla. That is all for Kakariko Village. All it involved was Kotla and Coco, which are both easy to miss, considering that the kids are always wandering around. You can never find them in one place. Well, I guess you could find Coco in one place. But Kotla was very hit and miss, literally. All right. Next, we're on to a rare find in the central region. Never mind. A rare find is the quest that we already did. I, I just missed it when I was doing inventory. Instead, we are going to the Elden region to complete Death Mountain's secret. Goron Hot Springs, located shortly out of Goron City and a short jaunt away from the Dakako Shrine in or on Death Mountain. There are two Gorons. I'm guessing father and son, grandfather and son. Just chilling out here in the Goron Springs. Who's there? Who's determined my bath? Mmm. Highly touristy. Eh? How's the water? Lukewarm. I'd like to find some really hot water relaxing, but those fallen rocks make it way too dangerous. It's rare to see a tourist like you equipped to stand up to this heat. By the way, Rudani has settled down, so feel free to take your time soaking in the hot springs. Hello. Hello. Go, 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 where I'm staying. Nonsense. Bouquet, do you get that? Uh, nonsense. I built two Sherbinton gear on by Bridge of Elden. I bid a two sure, two sure, twisher, twisher, treasure. I bid, I, I bed, I buried a treasure. Bintine, I'm not sure what Bintine is. Binting, Bintine, Bintine, Bintine. Bintine gear at the Bridge of Elden. It's a really stick, really cool. It's an amazing stick, really cool. If if you find it, if you blend it, blizz bores. If you find it, it's yours. Death Mountain secret. Dugby, the young Goron soaking in the hot springs, said, I, I bid a treasure... Binting gear at the Bridge of Elden. It's an amazing stick. Really cool. If you find it, it's it's yours. Wait, it, B's or C's here? Sometimes. I 
Kinting? Kinteen? Kinteen? Canteen? Sounds like gibberish, but maybe there's something to it after all. Well, we know we need to go to the Bridge of Elden, which is literally just me backtracking because I just ran this direction to get to the springs. You know what the coolest thing about getting 900 Korok Seeds is? Because this is my first episode recording without that. The cool thing is, is that episodes can actually be a tiny, tiny bit longer now. And hopefully that's not a bad thing for you guys, but before, I tried to keep the video around, or I tried to keep it around 30 minutes, including the Korok Seeds. Sometimes it would hit 34 and I was fine with that, or 32, but that meant I was ending episodes at like 28 minutes, 26 minutes. But now, I can end them a little bit later if I need to. Which is pretty nice. I'm I'm happy about that. Okay, so we're looking for a treasure at the Brid of, Bridge of Elden. Let's look at this hint again. I bid a tre I hit a treasure between. I think that's between between here and the Bridge of Elden. That sounds more likely. In which case, my search would have to be redirected. Backwards. It wasn't backtracking there. It was going to there. That makes a bit more sense. It's an amazing stick. Bintin here. Bintin gear. And the Bridge of Elden. Here's a bumble wall. I guess that's kind of in between the two. Let's see if I can do my tech. Man. Better. Now I'm satisfied. What's in here? Nothing there. A diamond. A diamond, a topaz, flint. Is that it? Nothing else? Is that a rock wall? Oh wow, this one's well hidden. It's so hard to tell that this is fake. Let's see if I can do the strat. I mean, it's not a strat, but let's see if I can do it. Yeah, yeah, first try, baby! I still got it, and that's what I thought it was. It's just a drill shaft. I can throw this away. Goodbye. How good is this drill shaft? 14. What a beautiful treasure. Could this be the treasure that Dugby mentioned? Try showing Dugby the drill shaft you acquired. I believe drill shafts, I don't think I've ever talked about these. I think these have the same multiplier against stone talus that the the hammers and then the cobble crushers the stone smashers and uh Daruk's weapon have so it's a spear but with those multipliers which is nice sometimes stone talus have the the nub on their back and it makes it difficult to to hit but with the spear you can you can get there oh i've been sleeping Reliving different cycles of, of times of day, and I didn't realize. Oh, he's out of the hot spring now. Hey, don't tell me that stick is. I found it. That's the drill shaft I hid with two spaces in between the and drill shaft, right? Actually, I need to get be a better look at it. Show it to me now. Wow, it actually plays out the animation. That's surprising. I guess so. It's suspicious, though. I can't help thinking that's the drill shaft I hid. There's no mistaken, that was definitely a big noise. Could this person be... Hmm, so you went ahead and found the drill shaft I hid. Well, it looks like I lost this battle. You can go ahead and keep that drill shaft. Thanks for talking to me. Death Mountain Seeker complete. Which means we have two, tech maybe three quests. Actually, no, we have exactly two because I found a redundant quest in my log. So we have two left. And the percentage completion has not improved at all. I th thought for sure that quests did that, but... And this is where the episode goes dark. Somehow, the final two quests were glitched in the recording. The recording stopped immediately when I, I decided to warp to Tabantha or uh, Rito Village. And that was it. I lost everything thereafter. Thankfully, it was not very much, and I was able to revert the save file. However, I was able to revert the save file to right after 
we conquer this quest, the second to last quest. So while I do have the quest audio, forgive me if the visuals don't quite match up. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to talk to this man and see what we can do. Hey. Good day. You've come at a good time. Divine Beast Vomido was just kicking up a storm a while ago, but he's calmed down now. Hmm? Did you need something? How are, how are you? How am I? I can't complain, I suppose. Never mind that. Please listen to this. I was out for a walk earlier and I saw a frost talus. Yes, it was a great, a giant monster made of enchanted ice. I was running an errand when I saw it. It was incredible and terrifying. It was incredibly terrifying. I believe I saw it over at Cold Snap Hollow before my adrenaline kicked in and I fled like the wind. In any case, it was enormous, but I bet a champion could have taken it down no problem. I defeated it. What? You defeated the Frost Talus in Cold Snap Hollow? I never would have thought a Hylian could take down something that big. No offense. Well, that's a relief. If that thing had wandered this way, the entire village would have been in danger. It's not much, but I would like to reward you for your trouble. With this silver rupee. The next and final quest of both the video and the game was located in Luralin Village. And it's here where I noticed that there was a trend in the quest that we missed. Everyone that has had a quest that we've missed was just off the beaten path, or they were moving around, meaning that they were never at a specific place, so they were very easy to miss. Or you saw them once out of the corner of your eye and never saw them again. Roselle is such a chap. When I spoke to him, he talked about the, the village, because he's the uh, leader of the village, apparently. And you can ask him a bunch of different questions about Lurlin Village and the surrounding area, as well as fishing. But he also talked about a secret, a bear, a sunken treasure in uh, that was sleeping in the center of a golden triangle. I turned to the map and perused the surrounding area. This looks like a, a triangle. This looks like a triangle. Not really that. But what caught my eye was this. This looks identical to a golden triangle, and I deeply regret that I was not able to show this quest that the that the recording cut out, but we're going to go there now, and I'm going to cut in the original audio so that you can bear witness to the beauty that was this quest. Just sit right back and you hear a tale, a tale of a faithful trip. It started from the tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. The passengers that, or eight passengers that sailed that day on a three hour tour. A three hour tour. <laughs> the weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the, of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. The ship ran up on the shore of this charted desert isle with Gilligan, the skipper too. The millionaire and his wife, the movie star, and the rest are here on Gilligan's Isle. Right in the very center of these three rocks lay the treasure. And that treasure was four chests. Two of them contained topazes, one of them contained sapphire, and the final one contained a thunder edge, which I have. Thunder blade, sorry. A thunder blade, which is now in my inventory now. That was all there was, though that's not a, that is not a bad reward, especially if you're just starting out the game. Each of those sell for about 200, 100 gold. So effectively, you earn with that insta kill them. You essentially earn like 600 rupees from that as well as a great weapon that'll come in handy in the time ahead. Hello, old man. Nice wins today. You really found it. Oh, ho, ho. incredible. Even after all these years, people still manage to impress me or surprise me. You know, there might be some treasure that yet sleeps in this ocean. A diligent boy like you could get rich finding it. May all your delving end in gold. Sunken treasure complete, and the last side quest of the entire game completed again. I did not think I was going to be able to do that twice in one day. However, looking at the map, you'll see that we're still hovering at 99.51%. Nothing has changed. 
nothing at all has changed. Which threw me for a loop. I wasn't sure how to uh, react to that. But, I think I do now. I believe that that last 0.409% is referring to the bosses that we have yet to complete. So, to end off this episode, let's warp over to Zora's Domain. Talk to, uh, what's his face? Kilton. And find out how many bosses we're going to have to conquer next episode. This smell. Is it a Hinox? Or perhaps... Ah! Oh, it's just you. Good evening. How may I help you? About monsters. Oh, yeah. Which monster do you want to talk about? The Stone Colossus. Ah, that said, most interesting. Let's see how many stone taluses you've harvested thus far. Looks like 28 out of 40. You have 12 remaining. Good luck on your hunt. I'm counting on you. May I, may I help you with anything else? The forest giants. How many are do I have left to collect? That said, most interesting. So far, you've defeated 34 of the 40 Hinoxes. You have six remaining. Good luck on your hunt. I'm counting on you. May I help you with anything else? You have 28 Mon. I have heard rumors of there being some sort of medallion that you're able to buy from him. But I guess we can't get that yet. Maybe we need to go get all of the medallions and we can buy it. I heard that it has the power to force a blood moon to take place, which would be very useful. Just not at this stage of the game, because <laughs> I'm almost done. Uh, let's, for his trouble, let's buy as many as we can. We can buy what? They cost nine? Let's buy three. Thank you. I have two, I have one mon remaining. Can I help you with anything else? No. No, that's it. You can help me tomorrow, or two days from now, because next time in Pal Plays Breath of the Wild, we're going to be attempting to get that remaining 0.49% by defeating 18 bosses. 18 bosses we have not fought before. We may have seen them, but at the time I must have skirted around them, or just never found them to begin with. And so next episode, we're going to be montaging, facing Hinoxes, Stalnoxes, and Stone Talus, and all the variants in between. Join us next time where we hopefully get 100% of the game. Another possible culprit for the lack of 100%, you're, you guys are going to have to specify in the comment section, is that we actually have not completed every side quest. There is one left, one remaining to us, and that is defeating uh, the final trial of the DLC and beating the Champion's Ballad. That might give us 100%. However, also you'll notice we have 17 of 20 main quests cleared. So I'm not sure about this. I, I may have to look up, look this up. Or if you guys, if you guys possibly know what I have remaining. So long as it's not spoilers, you can tell me. Uh, I, I know this is remaining. I know this is remaining. Maybe the final, final trial is... The last quest? I'm not honestly sh quite sure what the 20th main quest would be. Maybe it's something we get in the final battle that I just forgot about. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Next episode, we're going to be defeating those bosses and then starting up on the DLC again. The final part of the DLC ending with Mipha's journal. And then possibly some stuff there thereafter. I'm not exactly sure what beating the Champion's Ballad does, how it rewards us, or if it just rewards us with experiences in the form of shrines. So join me next time where we find that out on a Monday or Wednesday. See you guys then!